Okay, so welcome to the real time part. Um, so we are here at the kind of like unfinished um, food court area. So this is, I'm gonna turn this into probably like a food court, like a little gazebo maybe. Um, I'll put some shades on it and stuff. And this is gonna be, I didn't really finish this because this is gonna also be a, another enclosure here. So I'm gonna kind of blend that in. Um, but let's focus on the dolls, shall we? So here we are at the main viewing. I decided to add like a little chain link fence because this is like the end where I thought to be more realistic so I, I thought that since the doles could jump over it if I didn't put some sort of guarding um so I decided to do that and put the education boards in with it looking very nice you can still see them perfectly clear um the foliage is just, just one of the habitats I really like just for the foliage the foliage just brings it all together like all the plants all the bushes in the water just make it look so good look at the doles one of my favorite creatures in the game honestly Especially from this year because we got the Southeast Asia pack. We go down. We'll start this way. And we'll go to the cat house at the end. So we go down here. We can see we're traveling to the formation blur last week. With the formation habitat built last week. Um, so you can see we're at the food court area. This is where you would get your food. The idea is that you're supposed to come down here, get, get your food, and then bring it over there to the, uh, like the, the restaurant or the picnic area. Um, you can see the bears on your way. You can see them. Are they here? They might be swimming. Are they swimming? Well, I don't know where she is. All right, well, let's get back to this part. Um, so the main thing I wanted to go over when we were here is that now a lot of people go on this area because I also added a mini viewing to the doles area here. And the doles really don't really go over here. The only time you'll probably see them is if they're swimming here, which they are not. They usually like to swim in the big lake. Oh, yeah, they just like roam around. They really do like to roam around can see them spring the sprinklers and this is the other way so this is the only way to get up to the viewing deck so we can go up there's going to be another way in north america to get here so also now look at that oh oh my god look at it prancing it's like a like a gazelle <laughs> uh, so you can see one there you can see one there i think there's a total of six of them in here i didn't have them for that long so there shouldn't be babies um i would love it if there was but i just put them in i just put them in um so there's two over there there's probably a few swimming around. I did actually incorporate the beaver pool to this, so this is really nice. I haven't really used this much. I didn't honestly know. I thought the only thing that could use these was the beavers. So instead, I realized that the doles could use it too, and I incorporated it to the rock structure. I think it looks really nice. Looking really good. Um, I add a little bit more infrastructure in this area to make it look like a catwalk kind of thing. It basically is a catwalk. It's like a wolf, a wolf walk. <laughs> um... So yeah, you can see it. There's another one. About to go inside. And that's the only other thing I didn't do here, which I kind of feel bad about, is I didn't add foliage up here to this, like the rooftop area. But don't worry, we'll do that in a later episode. Because, if you remember, um, this is something I did off camera, just putting the little staircase down. So that way, if you're coming from North America, you can go up and you can automatically travel. You don't have to go through the entire cat house to get back. Um, this is going to be an upcoming episode, probably in the next couple weeks. Um, the clouded leopard habitat. So this is what I was talking about. You can come up um, and you can either go to the doles or you can go all the way to the end and see the quad leopards. This is going to be a dead end. But then also there is a route out of the cat house or the dole house that you can come out and you can go through. And this is going to result in the North America area, which we're going to have things. I'm going to actually do a North American episode soon. We're going to add the pronghorn to this area with this little roundabout. So we're going to have like a cool little, nice little area for them right here that way you can like slowly ease out into out of north america and slowly transfer into europe so, or sorry into asia so we'll probably have a big sign here or something i have a lot of work to do in this area to make it look all nice uh, so i guess that brings us to the inside so this is the inside area of the dole habitat so let's go in i also added this little column um i'll eventually add like foliage and stuff to the top of this i haven't really decided what i want to do yet this is the official entrance to the cat wa to the cat house in Europe. It doesn't have like a, a fancy doors or anything. I'll get there eventually when I'm really probably we'll do like a finishing touches episode on the cat house. Um, and also we add like a bunch of planters and nice little lamps and stuff around. So we'll do that later. Um, I haven't added like the, also the paw prints. If you noticed a few episodes back when we did the links habitat, you can see our paw prints. So I was gonna do it so that way. Um, the pop go around the entire hallway, but the pop are going to be like different colors, so the blue is the lynx, 
like white and black would be the cloud leopard and then i'm thinking like orange obviously would be the duel so that'd be kind of nice and the i guess like a red would be the, Beng the bengal tiger maybe don't exactly know how that's gonna work so i've been a little um little um decorations of that so you can see we have the inside area of the duel's habitat i don't know where they are is that one no that's just something i didn't hide we have like a big we have a wide open thing here i don't know um, I don't know where they are, um, I will get to that little part in a second. So this is like the main, the duels, once they are in here, it's really cool to see them up close and just hop around. It's very nice. I didn't add foliage again in here, I'm very sorry, I, I forget about that stuff. Um, again, probably gonna be in the finishing touches episode. Um, so then as you come out, we're back where we were before, and you're underneath the path and you can go to North America, or you can take a shortcut, you can go up, and you can see the cloud of leopards. Or, if you want a better review of the duels, you can go back the pathway which this is actually not finished yet so i think the main problem with asia right now is that we have way too many id or way too many animals left to do and we don't have a lot of space we've already done like badgers lynx the fallow deer habitats over here the ibex will be over here um and i'm planning to do like the indian elephant um and the indian rhino here that's just gonna take a lot of space we have our small mammal house which we still need to do ba um babarusa and pangolins um, Bin Trongs is getting worked on an upcoming episode that's almost done. You have like an aviary, which is really cool. I can I don't really want to spoil too much. Um, we have the Black Bear Habitat. Something's probably going to go here. The Bengal Tigers is going to have their thing over here. Clouded Leopards. We need more, though. We need, we have a few more animals that I need to fit in. Like the pandas. I'm pretty sure I'm going to try and fit the giant pandas up on the mountaintop. So we're going to see if that works. Um, I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be working. I'll, I'll try it out. Um, but we have a lot of more animals to do, like the Japanese macaw, um, or the macaque, um, the white bengal tiger, if I can make a habitat for it, a few other ones. So, that, um, the last thing about this habitat that I did not share is the backstage room. So this is really cool. This is a, this is like the actual door to the gate, or sorry, the, to the habitat for the keeper and the staff. So, this is like their own private little area with the bedding, so if they're having birth, or if they would just want like a resting time, so they would come in here. And I have seen a few of them come just in here. Is he in here actually? Yes, he is. Is that a she or a he? It is a she. And it's the alpha female. Um, and I also decided to put their water thing out here because, you know, I don't really like to put it out in the open because it's kind of, eh, it's not very decorative. Um, so you can also see I added a lot of detail. I don't normally do staff areas that well, so I decided just to make a little tiny room here. And there's another door that comes out into the habitat. So you could come in here, the staff would make the food, and they would go out and they would place it on the habitat. So that's nice. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm actually going to do, we're going to actually make a habitat on top here. This is, I think, that I don't think this is going to be like a sunken down habitat like this one. I think this is going to be like an erased habitat. So this is actually going to be a habitat that's raised up. And it's gonna be like really cool. I'm, I I really want to do that next. Um, currently, I'm working. Actually, I'm kind of all over the place, honestly. <laughs> um, we have like a project going in every single zone of the park. Um, right now, I'm working on the reptile area. You can see to start on it. This is going to be the um, tortoise house, and we also have the reptile area, like the reptile entrance, which is looking. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Lag. Sorry about that. Um, this is like the entrance to the reptile area. Not completely finished, mostly done. Um, so this is going to be all of our reptiles. That's what I'm planning for this area. Um, because what I want to do is the lake that's down here is going to come all the way up and match to this lake, which is near the Bonobos. Um, so that way the reptiles can have like their own little thing here and all that stuff. And they can like build, I can build their habitats off the lake and that would be really cool to me. So, I think the plan is Galapagos to, to, um, House probably for next week's episode. Um, if not that, I could also do the habitat that's supposed to go up here, which I have no idea what that's going to be. And I could also do the pronghorn habitat, which is going to be this habitat over here. So there's a variety of things I could do. We still have Africa to do more of. Um, I wish I could do the cassowaries or dingoes down here. I could work up here more. There's there's a, a, a variety of things I could work on. Um, I still really want to do a roadmap video, 
Um, so planning out all the different habitats, I have a pretty good idea. I have like my own little bucket list and stuff of all the animals in which area they're going in. Um, so I think I'm going to have to leave it off. Um, see you guys next week and draw a squirrel video on Monday.